Hi everyone, thank you for being here. I'm gonna go through things that I've done in my role as the VPPR at UAB Toastmasters and I will just share basically what I've been doing and hopefully that's gonna help you in your role with another club or UAB Toastmasters one day, who knows? All right, so let's get started. Um, here are some initiatives that I took throughout the year and I'm gonna try my best to explain them, but if you do need more details, feel free to email me. My email is thezillmarketer at gmail.com. Uh, my name is Alexandra Lloyd and um, you can email me probably if I get a lot of questions I might just suggest that we do a live video where you guys can interact and ask questions in real time I think that might be a great idea um, otherwise I hope this tutorial in terms of or the step-by-step -step of what I've been doing basically uh, will be helpful for you so let's just dive in website updates that's something that I would recommend you to make an audit to just start looking at. Is everyone is everything accurate on the website um, of your club? Is there anything that needs that could be updated sort in terms of information master. or simply revamp a little bit? And that's something I've done when I first uh, started in that role was to make the fonts a little bigger because I wanted to be appealing and just easy to read for everyone and um, no uh, here it's time to build a better you in 2020 that's a theme that I started doing maybe in the past six months or up to a year I'm not sure and that's something that throughout the the events that we were having every two weeks we had a different title so I think it's more appealing actually for attendees and possible new members and possible new guests that see that on Facebook or see that on Eventbrite and um, see that is, is a little different than always having or monthly monthly club meetings, you know what I mean? So I thought that was cool to have something a little different. Another thing I think it's great to make use of on our website, per, club website, is where it says meet our members. If all of your members can make their profile public I think it's great to see who's there and you know you can even put your LinkedIn profile or Twitter profile Facebook if you're comfortable but I think having that opportunity to network professionally it's great and it ties very well with the mission of Toastmasters and um, I, I would uh, ask your members if they want to do it now next thing Facebook page info updates so again it's just reviewing the Facebook page if you already have one uh, if not is to create one um, make sure your username here as you can see there's an at uab.toastmasters.com uh, at .toastmasters so that allow whoever uh, search you and just want to enter the URL at the top here can just enter facebook.com slash and then your username which is in that case uab.toastmasters and that basically allows to personalize your URL that's one thing making sure your profile picture is your logo cover photos you can add different ones as you can see there's a little arrow here and I build those on Canva canva.com and it's pretty I mean you don't need any Photoshop skills it's pretty simple um, and in order to do that, something I want to I want to go back at the top at, at, before um, is logos and uh, creating a folder either on your computer or I personally like the Google Suite, the G Suite, a lot. So it's Google. You have Gmail and the Google Drive. And on my Google Drive, I have a folder called Toastmasters with the VPP or board officer role. And first thing I've done at, right at the beginning was to download the logo, Toastmasters logo here, see in my subfolders, all of the different variations in case I need those, as well as taglines. Uh, these are icons that I thought, well, oh, maybe I'm going to use them. I actually use the triangle ones to create some uh, testimonials to share on our f Facebook. 
And this, uh, in my opinion, is the most important, the visual brain guidelines to allow you to get the, the right colors. So you have the code of each color that is used on the, in the Toastmasters brand. And that's something that is very useful when you do social media and you're in that role. Um, other folders, other information here that I keep, um, my designs, each design that I've made, that I've made, this is for the open house. So that was a flyer. That was a, a normal sheet size that we printed and put in, in the university, at the university at coffee shops. And I asked each members to take a few with them and distribute at their work and everywhere they go. Oh, this is our building. So just pictures that we collected over time. I could have put pictures of our members there. I just haven't updated, but yeah, anything that can help you. Directions, always helpful. Uh, I actually create a, an additional, a specific album for the directions on Facebook. This is... This is a form, again with Google, Google form, very simple, and it allowed us to gather information after our open house. And that's something that I think is very important to get feedback. And I can probably show you, oops, I don't wanna show the emails, but asking what events that was for the open house. So everyone respond that, asking if they're currently a member, what were, was it your first time Attending a meeting. How did you hear about us? Very important. So Evan Bright, yay, two URBE reporter. This is a mass email list that we're part of that gets sent out to students at UAB. So that's pretty cool. Here's a, a referral, friend or colleague. Um, and then how satisfied, so that's great. Five is the highest. How likely are you to become a member? It, it varies uh, how satisfied so just a few questions that and then overall feedback so that's pretty cool to to gather if not at each meeting at least during the help after the open house uh, other than that okay so Facebook yeah I was talking about Facebook let's go back to that and I can show you how events look like so if I click on the tab events and this these you can reorganize the tab since Toastmasters is mostly event based. I mean, you want your events at the top here and you can reorganize that in your settings or edit page info. Actually, that's where it is. Um, let's see. So I'm going to click on one pre COVID <laughs> that I, that I, uh, yeah, let's do this one. All right. As you can see the theme, so the path to build leadership and communication skills. And I made a specific background exclusively for that. Hosted by UAB Toastmasters. So I always create those events throughout the page. And then you can see people interested. So details, oh, this one was actually a Zoom. So yep, yep, yep. So this is some text that I put together for that event that was online and then what it is like just set expectations you're gonna watch prepared speeches participate in table topics make connections don't forget to ask for a membership package so just to put that up front it helps visualize how that will be um, I mean for this one they couldn't get the package in person but you know you can share the information by email so don't forget to ask for it um, and here I put this is not necessary, but I thought it was cool to always reinforce what is the club mission, what is Toastmasters. And you can add tag, networking, public speaking, leadership, volunteering. So these are tags I selected when creating the event. I think creating the event on Facebook is pretty simple. So I'm not gonna go over that, but I'll happily show you more details on Eventbrite because I think that's where people are not necessarily comfortable. So I took... Um, I went and created Eventbrite, an Eventbrite account. Actually, I already had one, so I just created a different organizer profile, as you can see here. 
So when you create multiple ones, you just have a drop down and you can go and switch in between prior to create your events. I uploaded the logo. Again, put the club mission, what is Toastmasters, our website, very important, and um, use this description on my events page. You check that, put the website, and this organizer page URL, you want to customize it. Same thing as the username on Facebook. If you customize it, it's easier, again, to find you and share the link rather than having multiple numbers that does, don't mean anything. And then all of your social media you can add there. We only have Facebook that we use, so I put the link of our Facebook page. Customize all your colors. That's where it's important that you looked at your brand guidelines. And that's actually, this one is pretty basic, so I just use gray. Yeah, I might have used the gray from Toastmasters. It, I mean, as long as you can, like any time that you can keep your colors that from your brand, that just show brand uniformity and it's the best. So I would always recommend to do that. But for this, I think it was just the text. So that's why I'm not even sure I've done it. Okay, once you have your organizer profile completed, you will create an event. And it looks about like this. So you name your event. Make sure it's the same name on Eventbrite and on Facebook. So once you create it on Facebook, it's really just copy paste. You're going to select the type the category, uh, you can add keywords, and the keywords help people find you. Uh, organizer, so it's a drop down, and you just select it because you pri previously uh, create that organizer, so it will be there, and then location. So even if it's an online event, you can select online event and have your event up on Eventbrite. And Eventbrite is same thing as Google in some ways, but for events only. Meaning is a search engine that allow people to find you, your events. Except Google is a larger network, but it's a larger platform. So yeah, if you have a venue, if it's an in-person or if it's online, and then you make sure to put the address, date, time, so, for example, for the theme, I will sometimes put recurring events if it's the same theme. Usually, I would do... So, the theme build a better version of you was throughout a few months. But then, I will change the title each month. So, each month, you foc we will focus on something else. So, we were not really changing the format of the meeting, but I just thought it would be nicer to change the name. So, each month, we'll have a different name. So, for example... The first, here I have some here that you can see. The path to build leadership and communication skills. So there was multiple dates for that specific event. Um, the path to enter the world of public speaking and excel at it, same thing. And then whenever it's speech contest, I call them speech contest, and I put level one, two, and three just to create some continuity in between the different events that we have. So in 2020, build a better you, that was in January. So here I can show you the stats. We had 15 people register and I kept it at 50, but it never go up to 50. So I was feeling pretty good about that. And the fact that our event is free, it doesn't, it doesn't cost you anything. If you do paid events, then you need to enter tax information eventually. All right, so you have all the stats here. So it's pretty cool. Uh, you can also pull the reports of everything that signed uh, signed up to your event. Um, and when creating the event, this is like after, see the Manage tab, you have Edit tab, Design tab, and Manage tab. And Edit and Design, you want to review each category to make sure that the information is complete and everything is personalized. So here you have the information, Event Image. And for the image size, I highly recommend you to just Google it. Google will be your good friend if you don't know the answer. So you just Google um, dimension for Eventbrite event. Size of Facebook cover photo business page. So for example, if you want this. So there's a size, specific size for this. And you need to resize on Canva. You can do everything on Canva. Okay, so yeah, um, 
Really, I'll go with what, where, when. And then you can even add an FAQ, which I didn't do, but could be pretty cool. You keep it public. Uh, see event topic, the business and professional, career, save, you can view. So that's pretty much it um, for Eventbrite. Other than that, business listing. So I can show you on here. If you type UAB Toastmasters, there's something on the right that's going to appear on the sidebar. And that's where we can collect reviews and it helps with search engine optimization on the Google network, on the Google search engine. And I recommend you to do that because it will help people find you again. And not only on Eventbrite, but on Google in general. The more you have reviews, the better it is. The more pictures you have, the better it is. And as you can see, we have, I uploaded a lot of pictures, you know, about participation contests. And the idea is to show what we're all about and get people excited when they find us. We want them to join our meetings. So the more pictures, the better. Make sure they're good quality. Ribbon, certificates. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Well, that was a good group picture. All right, so that's another thing. <laughs> and this is free again. Oh, and I even added in terms of our products, be our guest at a meeting or become a Toastmasters. It's only $7.50 a month. And then we have our reviews, so it's pretty cool. Another way to, to show that you're out there. Contact info. Oh yeah, I had to go on the national, international Toastmasters site to make sure that our information as a club was reflecting what we have on our UAB Toastmasters website. So that takes a few minutes and then it's done. Having a phone number and an email, very good because it people have different preferences. So the more options that you give, the better, in my opinion. Um, yeah, Halloween Open House, I briefly talked about that. We had our best open house, I think. Not ever, but since I'm there at least. Um, we had a good turnout with the open house, but it was really a teamwork. Everyone took flyers and distributed them. I mean, put them up at coffee shops, their work. And also, I ask everyone to reshare the event on Facebook. And, you know, you want everyone to share and if they don't have Facebook I was like I was giving them the link and asking to share on their LinkedIn so whatever whatever may help or talk to a friend about it um, so I think that's pretty much it I hope this was helpful and again if you have questions just feel free to reach out and I'll